If you're in the market for an area rug, listen up. We're going to arm you with a list of what you need to know before you go shopping. And here to help us, Tamara Robbins Griffith. <laughs> she knows her rugs, first of all. So let's start with the one thing everyone is still wondering about size. Yeah, it well, matters. It matters. Yes. Size matters. Fit is the most important thing, yes. I will say. You know, you can buy a really expensive rug, and if it's not the right size, it's not going to look great. That's right. So a few rules that you may know already, you may remember. For the living room, get those front feet of your seating furniture onto the rug by at least six inches. Okay. And then if you have a big room, you can have a bigger rug and have the furniture entirely within the rug. I love that. Yeah. So bigger is bigger better yes and even if you think oh is this big enough like try and get most of the yeah. pieces yeah. in your room yeah. on that rug it's the that's what most you want. common mistake is to yes. buy a rug that's too small too teeny tiny in in the bedroom you want to have a soft landing for your feet when you get up yes. in the morning so the other thing is to make sure that rug doesn't end part way through your nightstand it's a little bit of pet peeve of mine yeah so that basically translates into I would say a minimum of an 8 by 10 for a queen size bed mm -hmm. or a 9 by 12 for a king bed and these aren't just aesthetic you know considerations yeah. it's practical like if in the dining room you know you don't want your chair like tripping over the yes. edge of that rug right That's so you need right. at least two feet of space beyond the edge of your dining table absolutely yeah and yeah as you say it's functional and that you don't yeah. want in the winter getting up out of your bed and stepping on cold no like no, you, you want don't. something there under your feet so make yeah. sure it, it sort of reaches and covers all of that area right can we talk a little bit about materials? Like, yes. there's so <laughs> many terms. What yeah. do they all mean? Give okay. us a little walk through. There are a lot of materials. Okay, so right now, I think that because natural materials are having a real moment, yes. sisal, jute, seagrass, though, I think they're classics, but yes. still, having a moment now, so some of those little samples you can touch. So that's these you can kind, touch. sisal, they're great. jute, yep. yes. Great on stairs, because they've got that, you know, no slip grip, yes. but also for area rugs too. Yep. And one complaint that we hear is they're a little bit rough, okay? Yep. Uh, not as soft under your feet, but that's where it makes sense. So most of my samples that I have today are from Allen Rug. Um, as is this beauty from Calvin Klein. So nice. this is a jute rug, but it's mixed with viscose. Okay, so that makes it soft. Then you might have it in your bedroom. Okay, so um, what about wool? Okay, wool. So wool, wool, wool. You These can are touch wool? them. Different, different. One of my favorites, classic. A lot of rugs are made of wool. It takes yeah. the dye beautiful beautifully so design possibilities are endless it's sustainable yep. renewable obviously comes from sheep yep. and sheep have like lanolin in the fibers of their wool yeah. which is a coating that makes wool a little bit more stain resistant okay and then wool also has a kind of springiness to it so you're less likely to have those furniture indentation marks not saying it won't happen at all yeah but it kind of bounces back nicely oh see that's something I would have never thought of but that's yeah. how it works it bounces yeah back easier. Uh, can we talk polyester? Yes. So let's polyester's talk polyester's come okay. a long way. Come a long way. You know, one nice thing about it is that it's going to be more affordable for the average person, mm -hmm. right? And the thing is, this rug that we're standing on is a beautiful uh, Amber Lewis for Laloy rug. I picked it beautiful. up at, at um, Art and Weave. Okay. And this rug is poly, and so it's going to be UV resistant. Yeah. So that's one benefit. And then, you know, obviously the affordability factor is big for a lot of people. Now, polyester is not necessarily as durable as wool. Mm -hmm. You're not going to, you're going to have that crimp loss or maybe more indentation marks. So mm -hmm. this one is a low pile. If you had a higher pile, you know, that might be a factor. In this case, it's a very low pile rug. So you're not going to notice that. Okay. And then viscose is another fiber. Okay. So the blue one that's right behind you. Yep. Not a lot of regulation. So you'll hear it called rayon. Ten cell, eco silk, bamboo silk, oh. and basically it's like an alternative to silk that's less expensive because silk is pretty expensive is. for area rugs. Like historically, the finest rugs made of silk. Right. Very, so silk very. is natural, but all of these ones you just spoke about are synthetic. Is that They're what it is? They're man-made the way they They're... produce the fiber, but it's very, it's got that sheen. It's it very soft under your feet. Yeah. Not the most durable, but that's where you consider where am I putting it in my house? Right. Maybe not a high traffic 
traffic area, yeah. but maybe lovely in the bedroom because it feels so nice under my feet. It really does. <laughs> right? Okay, can we go through, you've got a few other things there, uh, yes. but I, I wanted to, why don't you speak quickly yeah. about the other uh, how, types of rugs? How the rug is made. I mean, yeah. that's one thing that's really going to factor into the cost, right? Yes. We've talked about the you know, the material, but, you know, this is a hand-knotted rug. Mm -hmm. The most durable, the most, you know, wonderful rugs. Yes. Also, the most expensive because they take so long to make. Yeah. Now, what's interesting is you can see the knots on the back. You can show okay? it over to that camera. There you go. So, yes, when you look at rug prices, you might be a little bit shocked, but you're going to pay a lot of money if it's something like that and it took the time, a long time to make it. Right. Well, you can have rugs at many different price points, right? Yeah. I mean, this is a tufted rug. So you can have this made by hand or machine. Nice. It's got a backing. Yeah. So loops of fiber are pushed through a backing either with a tufting gun or by a machine, yeah. you know, and, and then they're glued in place. It can still be cut and sheared. You can still have levels, beautiful levels of quality. The thing is when you're shopping, it's important to know like an apples to apples comparison. How is it made? Mm -hmm. Then what is the price per square foot? So you know what you're getting because frankly, you know, you can spend a little or a lot on a rug. As I said, the most important thing is that it fits and it's right. the right size. And you might have an inexpensive rug in the entryway or the kitchen. Right. You might have a more expensive rug in your living room or your bedroom. Yeah. You know, different um, applications in different parts of your home yeah. and you know there's so much choice now which is amazing. So you mix and match and you make it work for your space you might have a high end somewhere and a low end somewhere else but it's all about the function and of course the size <laughs> right Tamara? Absolutely. You got, always have to think about the size. Absolutely. You want to do one more before well, we break? Well I love this. I love this is a dury. It's woven. It can be woven um, by hand or by machine but mm -hmm. I love them. So casual, fun in a cottage. They're often reversible. Yeah. You know, I'm a big fan of the Dury or Kaleem flat weave rugs too. Lovely. This, the, I mean, the options are endless. We're going to take a break. See you all on the other side.